one and all present here. Respected principal, teachers and my dear friends. Welcome, Welcome to special assembly. Hi Rakshita. Hi Kavya. Rakshita, which subject we are going to learn today? We are going to learn about the science subject. Science subject? In science subject, which topic we are going to learn? You want to know? Yes. Are you ready my dear friends? Come, let's work. I am going to tell about the meaning of motion. First, I will tell what is rest. When a body is not moving, it is said to be at rest. If a change of a position of an object with a respective time is called motion. Motion is always relative. Once again, I will repeat the meaning of motion. If a change of a position of an object with a respective time is called motion. Motion is always relative. Yes, my friend I have told right. When you are in a bus, you will be at rest till the bus moves. The movement you feel is because of the movement of trees and buildings along the road going behind. Therefore, the rest and motion are related. Thank you. Now I will tell about types of motion. There are four types of motion. There are translatory motion. In translatory motion, there are two types. First one is linear motion and curvilinear motion. Second one is rotatory motion. Third one is oscillatory motion and fourth one is circular motion. Translatory motion. Translatory motion means all the particles of an object move through the same distance at the same time. For example, a car moving on a straight road. Today I am going to tell about the linear motion. If the objects move along a straight path, it's called linear motion. Example, a apple falling from a tree, a ball forming from a height, a gun, sh a sh bullet shot it from the gun, motion of a leaf. Thank you. See friends, what they are doing? Yes, it is example for curvilinear motion. What is mean by curvilinear motion? Yes, when a body moves, uh, when a body moves along a curved path, it is called curvilinear motion. They are playing on a slide. It is example for curvilinear motion. Other examples for curvilinear motion are a ball thrown upward at an angle. A train moves on curved path. Thank you. Hi friends, now I will tell about rotatory motion. Rotatory motion is that a body moves without changing its position in its own axis. Example, spinning wheel at Charaka and Potter's wheel. Spinning top rotates in its own axis. In this case, top and bottom bottom. Spinning top do not change their position. Thank you. This is an example of rotatory motion. It is spinning wheel. This is also example of rotatory motion. This is spinning top. Thank you. See friends, what the girls are doing. You are exactly right. They are playing on the swing. The swing is an example of an oscillatory motion. Then what is the meaning of oscillatory motion? The repeated to and fro motion of an object from a fixed point is called oscillatory motion. Once again, the repeated to and fro motion of an object from a fixed point is known as oscillatory motion. Examples, the girls playing on the swing and the pendulum of the wall clock. Thank you. This is also an another example of an oscillatory motion. Thank you. Now I am going to explain you about circular motion. Circular motion. Circular motion can be defined as the motion of an object into the circular path which is at the constant distance from a fixed point. For example, the blades of the fan, watch, uh, hands of the watch, the earth, earth revolves around the sun, the girls moving in a circle. Hi children. Myself Sridhar with my colleague Rajeshwari MS. Today we are going to tell you some important tips which we should follow in our day to day life. First point, never get down from the moving vehicle. Second point, go slow and while moving on a curved road, be careful. Third point, be careful 
while moving on the plain surface or the road. Fourth point, don't go near to a rotating fan. See children, these are the points we should follow in our day-to-day -day life. Thank, Thank you. you.